2017 is basically upon us, so we're all thinking about the new year, and naturally, I'm thinking about beauty for the new year. So I turned to the websites and the magazines in the industry, and I am testing out the beauty trends that they say are gonna be super hot for 2017. Let's do this thing. So the first beauty trend for 2017 that I saw all over the place was 80s inspired makeup, mainly tons and tons of blush. So I have my Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill palette. This has beautiful, bright, pink blushes in it that would make women of the 80s just swoon with excitement. You gotta look super flushed, like, like you've been doing jazzercise for the past eight hours. I look pretty 80s. I just think it's really hilarious because I posted a video a couple weeks ago, makeup crimes you might be committing, and one of the makeup crimes I said was too much blush. So I'm obviously totally uncool for 2017, but now I am. Now I'm totally cool for 2017. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate this. We're one step closer to 2017. The next beauty trend that I saw all over the place was what people were calling wet hair or like pool hair. And essentially it was just hair that looked wet, which is kind of my worst nightmare because one, I don't ever look cute when I'm at the pool, no. And second, the minute my hair is wet, I just want it to be dry again. But listen, if the beauty magazines say it's the cool thing to do, then who am I to tell them it's not? I feel like maybe this is cool because like mermaids are cool and everybody wants to be a mermaid. I got gel, because that's the only thing I could think of that would give me that wet, I'm still at the pool look. Get with it. Oh boy, this is good. I've abandoned the side part because it was really way too hard. This gel is making my hair really dangly. I'm regretting this decision like a lot right now. I've already, I'm already this far and so I just need to commit. This looks so bad, okay. I mean, we're getting there. It looks like it does in the pictures. That doesn't mean it looks good, but how do I look? 2017, here I come. I'm going to a wedding this weekend. Should I, should I blow everyone away with my futuristic hairstyle? All right, the next beauty trend was, they called it like bi-colored lips. It's where you put a different color on the top than on the bottom. I feel like they tried to tell us that this was gonna be a trend a couple of years ago, it never like caught on, so they're like, maybe 2017? I don't know, maybe? Okay, so I'm doing like this burgundy and then this orange. I'm not really sure like what the rules are. I don't really know what I'm doing. But like, I'm really nervous it's gonna get on my top lip. Gotta wait, gotta wait for it to dry. I think you're supposed to pick colors that are a little bit closer than this. There's worse things. <laughs> How's it look? Okay, I definitely picked two colors that were like a little too far apart. I kinda wanna try one that's like a little bit more accurate. I'm gonna try again. Okay, so these two colors look a little bit better together. It's still a little bit wild and out there, but I mean, it's not so bad. Like, I don't totally hate it. The last beauty trend we need for 2017 that's going to complete this look is about the eyeballs. There were two eye trends that I saw for 2017. One was using like aqua colors on your eyes, and the second one was going for a uh, like smudgy black, smoky eye look. And that just sounds like something that I could probably do. So that's what we're gonna try. The reason that like black smudgy eyes are great is because you literally don't need to have any skills. Actually, if you mess it up, it's better. All smudgy down there. Okay, great. It looks like I put this on in a moving vehicle, so that means I did it correctly. Let's get the other side. This black smudgy eye makes me feel like I probably am really good at writing poetry. It looks so mysterious and also a little bit like a raccoon. So now I'm completely finished and 100% 2017 worthy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below which of these four trends for 2017 you actually would try. If this is your first time finding my channel, I promise I don't always look like this, only on Thursdays and sometimes on Wednesdays, but I would love if you would subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. As always, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you next Saturday morning for my next video.